we actually did go out and catch some trout the other day so i'm gonna go ahead and show footage of that just so there's some fishing in this video but uh dalen actually caught the biggest trout i've seen of the season so here is footage of that <laughs> First fish of the day. That's a decent one, babe. It's a catfish? That's a trout. Can I throw it back in? Not a bad one, babe. I don't know. We're gonna keep this guy, take him home and eat him up. But uh, we will catch, hopefully catch a lot more. All right, second fish on. Yeah, another trout. All right, good job, Alexa. I heard catch some trout. Yeah, we just casted this out. That was crazy fast. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? <laughs> well, we lost that one, but it's all good. We'll catch more. Another keeper. Right in the mouth. Yeah, buddy. Can't beat that. All right. This guy's going in the bag. Taking him home as well. It is very windy today and I forgot my GoPro, so sorry about the wind noise, which I know is terrible. Probably won't even use this audio, but we're out here catching fish, trying to have a good time, trying to catch some dinner. Come on, trout. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three. We were just like, I think the fish stopped biting and then literally they bit. <laughs> Not the Ooh, decent one. Dude, he is freaking out. <laughs> Chill, brother. Right in the mouth. Beautiful hook set, babe. Not as beautiful as you. <laughs> Walked away for two seconds and she's already on another one. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's awesome. Good job, babe. Yeah. Go, say, go say hi to a buddy over there and uh, I walk like away. A, it just dipped. Yeah, was like, oh, crap. Awesome. That probably swallowed the crap out of it. You got it? Yes. Oh my, this guy's pouring. Oh my god. It may just be the uh, ultralight though. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's oh. pretty decent. Decent one. Easy release. Love it. We're keeping them though. We're keeping it. That's way out there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's so windy. Keep going, or you, you got it, or you got it? There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. one. Get it, babe, get it in. That one looks decent. Dang, Daylon. <laughs> Dude, that's giant. Oh, Daylon. Sorry. No, get on the ground. That's too big, it's gonna break the line. Dude, that is massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the biggest one of the day, Daylon. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Good job, Daylon. <laughs> All right, so here is that trout Dalen just caught. Pretty big trout. I've not caught a trout this big out here. I don't think I have. We'll have to go home and measure it. I don't have a measuring tape, but uh, that is a really good sized trout. And I cannot <laughs> wait <laughs> to eat this guy. Freaking absolutely beautiful, man. Look at that. This trout right here. The biggest I've caught, I think, was like 14. And that one is about 14. Oh, nope. Uh, 13 and a half, maybe. Pretty big trout. That is the biggest trout I've seen this year, so that's pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and clean all these fish. I kind of want to make nuggets, so I'm going to fillet these guys and go get to the store, get some breading, and we will deep fry them and have some trout nuggets. So I built this truck camper about a year ago, and it was my first time building a camper in a truck. And I didn't really know what I was doing. I went big, put a mini fridge, a sink, all that good stuff in the camper. And that was stuff I really didn't need. Barely used the fridge. So I'm going to rebuild the truck camper. There's some things I did not like about the, this camper. And that was the height of the bed frame. 
I could not sit up fully inside on the bed. So this time around, I want to build a spot where I can actually sit down, do some cooking, some editing. Also, I built the cabinet area super big, and that was to fit some really big water storage containers under the cabinet. This time around, I'm not gonna build it as tall, just so it does not feel so compact inside the truck camper. But I'm going to take all this out start fresh and build a new truck camper today today i'm just kind of planning it out i probably build some as well but mostly just plan out the camper so let's get started first things first i need to clean out the truck all right so now we have a nice and clean truck bed to start a brand new build i'm excited let's go home and uh, start planning and start building this truck camper all right so you guys just saw me at the washing the back of the truck i went home i dried it all out with a towel i threw in all this wood right here that was in the shed drove around this side of the house and it is already snowing this bad this is how crazy the texas panhandle weather is the top of texas weather is the stupidest thing you will ever see in your life it literally just started started snowing and we already have this bunch of coverage. It's a freaking blizzard out here. It is insane. It went from sunny, kind of warm, to this in no time. Hopefully it doesn't snow a lot because it's already sticking a lot. I'm gonna go inside. Sorry dudes. I tried to start the project today, but we'll have to start it maybe later today if it stops snowing or tomorrow. Stupid. I hate Texas. Texas is so stupid. Just kidding. I love Texas. Texas, you can't beat it. No, look at that. The first bird. Look at the birdies. He's like, help. I didn't see anything. Oh, yeah. I ran off into the ditch over there. It's been snowing for like five minutes. It's already four inches deep. God, so here is a pile of wood that I have in the shed just sitting here. It's been sitting here for a while, a mess. Got more right here wood right there i already grabbed all this wood that was right here in the shed as well along with the pieces of the old john bolt build and i'm going to be using this wood to build my truck camper which is what i did for the last one i used all the leftover aluminum i had from the john bolt build all the wood so uh basically i'm doing it again i spent no money on any of the materials on my last truck camper build and I would like to be able to do, to do that again, but I might not be able to. I don't think I have enough plywood, but we'll see. I'm not too sure just yet, but yeah, I want to build this truck camper as budget friendly as possible using stuff I already have. Mainly I want to get rid of this pile of wood here. So that is my plan. I'm going to throw all this in the back of my truck and we'll take it over to the shed and cut it up, cut it up, see what we have, and then kind of design around the wood we have and see if we can make a budget friendly truck camper it is absolutely freezing today uh, the wind is horrible it sucks so bad but let's get started what's up doggo my friend made it why aren't you inside dude it's way too cold want to work with me come on let's build a truck camper so i really like the look of this carpet from the john boat so this whole entire truck camper will be carpeted this time it just looks good my last build it wasn't wasn't painted it wasn't anything it was just the bare wood and i didn't really like that so i think this carpet is gonna look way better <laughs> i made it to the shed with all the wood and in the shed i also found four of these pieces of flooring here this is actually the flooring i have in my bedroom at my parents house so we have a little bit of leftover of that. And I checked it out. It takes one and a half boards of the flooring to fit long ways in the bed. So 
I think we'll definitely have enough to do it. So it'd be cool if we could use some of that inside the truck camper. Almost fell. But we got a table saw here. I'm gonna go through and make all this wood usable to be able to use in the back of a truck camper. So, man, it's cold. Stepping one foot out to like right there, you feel the wind and it's so much colder. But uh, let's get started. I'm gonna start cutting some wood. <laughs> This is how tall I need the walls to be for the bed platform. So I am currently sitting in the truck cap, and as you can see, there's not much space up here. I am sitting on the mattress alone, no platform under it. But uh, as you can see, there's not much space. On my last build, I tried to make the bedding where it was low enough to where I could sit up on the platform, and I couldn't. I had to bend over. I mean, I don't like that, so I wanted that to change. And I guess I just never realized how low the ceiling really is. Let me sit on the actual bedding itself. Was it a truck bed, not the mattress? So if I sit up tall, there's maybe four or five inches and I don't want to build a sleeping platform that is four to five inches. So I was sitting here thinking and uh, I was like, what if I build a platform high enough to where I can still have storage under it, but what if I cut out a section for me to sit and that section will be its own storage that can pull out. So the bed platform, I'll draw it on the screen here. The bed platform will have a slide out drawer or completely slide out storage that I can sit in that area in that area only. So I will sit like right here, I guess. It all depends where this will be. Like I want it to be where I have an editing station, a desk. Also it could be a cooking top, whatever. But uh, that is where this slide out will be on the sleeping platform. And I think that's a good idea. So the bed platform will be high. We'll have the storage underneath. On my last build, it was a smooth painted surface and the mattress kind of slid some. I didn't like that either. A lot of stuff I learned from the first build that I want to put into this build and make it better. Yeah, that's my idea so far, just sitting in here thinking. I jumped in here just to kind of see my head clearance. And I was like, you know, what if we did one spot that was lower at times with a slide out drawer? And I think that's what I'm gonna do maybe even make like a nice platform to lean up against so I can lean back, have a editing desk right here and edit my videos as I'm traveling. I think that'd be pretty dope. So I think I'm gonna draw that in the plans real fast. So I thought about doing the drawer halfway that will slide out and then a lid that you pull up and you have access to this storage here. But then I was like, you know what? Let's just not do the drawer and we'll just do two pull up lids one for this compartment here and then one for these two compartments here and that way we will have maximum storage inside of this first pocket we won't have to worry about building the drawer and the weight of the drawer and the space the drawer takes up so we're saving weight and space and also i want to kind of carpet all the inside to make it look nice and add dividers so that'll just make that a whole lot easier so that's the plan for both of these boxes here same thing over here two dividers a big drawer two lids uh the lid will kind of be like how i did on the john boat maybe that kind of inspired me on the john boat we have the lids they opened up like that and that's kind of how it will be on the bed platform same way all carpeted looking nice so i want to be seated right here this is where the pull out section will be because the wool well 
this is actually really small of a space. Way smaller than I was thinking on this side of the wall well. We'll build the wall there. Have our seat right in here in this section, right in the middle of the truck. Give us room to cook, edit, do whatever we want. And then we'll have another little section over here for storage. And then the middle section will be all open for our feet to put down. That's where we'll have the flooring. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Pretty nice and way more efficient this time around for my second truck build. All right, so I just wanna show y'all something. On my last build, the bed frame ended right here. And I wanna match that because the mattress is that big. You can see the hole right here. And if you follow this up, it ends right there. And that is exactly where these two lids from the John boat end up. It is absolutely perfect. I have it just balanced on these uh, two pieces here, but that is how that is gonna sit. And that is so perfect. It is so weird how the universe does this to me a lot. Everything just falls into place. It is, uh, I don't know how it happens, but it makes you feel like you're doing something right. And I love it, as you can see. They're just balanced up on those two pieces I used to cut the other pieces. But man, in my design, I had two lids right here and here. And those lids just happened to be the perfect size. I did sit right here and my big old fat butt will take up about from here to about here. So that's going to work out perfect. This is where that dip will start. It'll go down and come back up over here. But uh, man, cannot beat that. I just wanted to show you all how this worked out. The John boat I built a year or two ago is gonna work out perfectly, or parts of it come out perfectly on my new truck build. I remember cutting those pieces out just right here a few years ago. And now they're being used for my truck camper build. And it's gonna work out perfectly. That piece almost worked, but it didn't. This will just be another normal divider somewhere else. Not everything just falls into place but sometimes it does and it's pretty cool. What's up buddy, you're back. <laughs> Go inside dude, it's cold. All right, so I got all of the pieces cut. I can uh, start here. We got everything down to the same size. That is the height of the bed platform and most likely the height of this side as well. But uh, that's that. It is absolutely freezing outside. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna call it. Sun's going down. This piece is already wrapped in carpet. Probably have to rip it off and uh, rewrap it. Which I did get some more carpet right here from Home Depot. So we got the carpet. I'm just kind of thinking I wish I didn't have to rewrap it, but I probably will. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it off now. Let's do it. So I just found another piece from the John boat that fits perfect, which was another door. So it does have this missing corner here, but that is okay because I plan to carpet the entire inside of the boxes. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. Did not have to cut that down or anything. That's just how it is. I did have to cut around the corner here just to fit the shape of the truck bed, but that was it. So uh, pretty cool. Also, I was thinking, I'm not gonna have any of my weight right against here. This piece sticks out. My head will be there, a pillow, but that's not much weight. So I can actually stick this piece farther up, like say right here. And then that will give more support on the box. And then I also found 
some propane fuel tanks here in the garage, in the shed. They've probably been there for about 15 years. But uh, I was thinking I could use this space here for my propane bottle storage because I always have about five or six propane bottles rolling around in my truck. And I think this would be the perfect way to store those. Right in there, I'll keep this pretty tight up against them so they're not banging like that as I'm driving. But, uh, or maybe even make like a foam insert so they just, they're tight in there. But I could probably keep maybe five or six total. But uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So this support here will also be a divider to make that little pocket there. And then we'll have another divider about here. But before I screw this piece in, I actually want to get all of this carpeted in because the more pieces I add, the harder it's going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, the front face, and this front face here carpeted because that is the pieces that you will see the most. And I want that to be looking the nicest. So I need to run to Walmart real quick, get some spray adhesive, maybe some, I'm sure we, I have staples somewhere here. So this gray does look to be a little bit lighter than the John Boat carpet, but I'm okay with that. Won't be an issue to me at all. Got the carpet all installed over here. And now I just need this last piece. Freaking, it's gonna be beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. The edge should come up right to it. It's gonna look good. And then this is the bottom. The top side is a side that is wrapped around, so it's gonna be even better. But I'm still very impressed with uh, how I cut this first try, and it is that freaking good. It's insane. Let's get this last piece glued on. Glue this edge up. so much better and if you're wondering how i'm going to do the cutout uh i don't know i completely forgot about that so that's sick oops <laughs> but i'm gonna keep building this and then we will work on that as we go we'll figure it out i'm gonna add the inside support walls for that that part and i can cut it out and then recarpet those areas every time i add a new piece i will have to carpet it before i add it in so that is that. So I just got this second board screwed in. And again, these lids, they will go perfectly right over it like that. And like this, that is how that looks so far. That's how it's gonna be, it's pretty freaking sick. I need to figure out how wide I need this gap here. But also went ahead and cut this piece same as that one to go around the wool well and i need to sit down in this area here and figure out how big of a gap i need to make my seat right here and then we can screw this board in and then all we gotta do is make the cross dividers going across and that will secure it all and square it all and then we will be almost done with the bed frame ah! 